Peggy Cooper here from Chetwin Bistro. Just looking at the many recipes here at the Chetwin Library. Aisles are full of great recipe books. Fancy recipes, short recipes, gluten-free recipes, all kinds of recipes. But tonight, I thought we'd knock together a nice little recipe for those days where you've worked long and hard and you just don't know what to make anymore. So, hey, good cooking, let's go in the kitchen. Okay, so on this segment of Hey Good Cooking, we're gonna try a quick recipe called the Lazy Man's Chicken Pot Pie. For this recipe, you're gonna need two cups of cooked red potatoes, firm but not overcooked, two cups of cubed cooked chicken seasoned to your liking, two cups of frozen mixed vegetables, and two cans of cream of chicken soup. So before we start mixing everything together, we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, so in a large bowl, we're going to put our cooked red potatoes. I prefer the red potatoes because they keep firm and they don't turn to mush. The cube chicken. All these ingredients can be pre-cooked and set on the side and the frozen vegetables. Give that a stir. Nice and colorful. Looks good already. To that, you're gonna add the two cans of cream of chicken soup. Okay, so making sure that it's stirred well and everything's blended together. You want to make sure the soup's hitting all the ingredients. And as my friend Becky would say, you want them to marry properly. So with that done, you'll take the baking dish of your choice. You can use any type of baking dish that you want. Just keep in mind that if you're using glassware, that your temperatures may be lower due to the fact that the glassware tends to cook hotter. So just even that right out into the pan. For the next step, we're going to create our crust or our topping for the chicken pot pie. We will need a box of Bisquick a one cup of milk, and we are also going to need two nice fresh eggs, preferably large. Okay, so first we're going to do our two eggs. We're just going to slightly beat them. Next we're going to add our one cup of milk. And blend the two together. And then we're going to add two cups of Bisquick. You want to blend them together just so it's a nice, fairly smooth paste or batter. With that done, you're going to pour the biscuit batter that you've made now over the chicken mixture. Here we go, into the oven, 400 degrees. And we're going to set the timer for 30 minutes. And check it, 30, 35, usually it's done. See you in 30. So this recipe is very versatile. You can use any kind of meat you want, lamb, turkey, beef, as long as you pair it up with some kind of cream soup. All right, so let's check and see what's going on in the oven. Look at that, nice and brown. Looks like we got one minute on the timer left. So let's just wait for it. 